Well, we're back in the kitchen with Chef Moreno from Times Square Restaurant, finishing up our tortellini D'Angelo. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, it is so good. Can I just show everybody what I've done? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Let me show you this. Take a look at this plate. Um, this little portion on the back, that's mine. I've eaten all that. I don't usually do that. I usually wait until the end, but I made the mistake of taking one bite, yeah, Chef, right. and then I couldn't stop. <laughs> And the reason is because the sauce is amazing. You've actually fast-tracked the process here and kind of kept, kept an eye on things. So let's take a look at it. Did you say you don't usually eat that? I don't that? usually eat that much, Andy. I ate oh. like a whole like oh. quarter of the plate right there. All right, because we snack a little bit in the commercials. I, I've reached an all-time high here with this <laughs> one. I really have. So the sauce has definitely thickened. We added that heavy cream to it as well it's, as the butter to kind of give it a little oomph, yeah. right? you got to make sure that you kind of say the sauce good enough so you don't get to taste all these all these condiments are in there because it so, does have the marsala wine exactly and uh, also we have the tomato and the cream and the onion process in there too so we're going to make sure that everything blends together perfectly okay okay the next step is going to be the tortellini we're going to make sure it gets nice and warm now do you suggest that we get the kind of the frozen kind or the kind that's in the refrigerated section or i would say now frozen items are always the best okay. because our model is we have to do everything fresh fresh, fresh to the order and that is my best way to, uh, to show. So we're gonna make sure that this is nice and warm because as you can see, the little thicker, make sure that inside of the dish is nice, I mean, the, the, the oh, tortellini, the tortellini uh -huh. it gets nice and hot, otherwise it will cool the whole entire dish by okay. itself. So, so you just got a, a bowl here, it's not quite boiling, and I notice you have a little bit of olive oil in there as well. Uh, this is what I do to put the tortellini, a little bit of uh, marinade and olive oil just to let them stick together. Okay. And it's easy to process everything. So once you see the tortellinis are nice and warm, we're gonna drain all the water. There is no water residue inside of this dish. Okay. So, and then you just gotta put it in there. And once you do that, we're gonna throw some uh, nice fresh uh, Parmesan cheese. Uh-huh, ooh. I love Parmesan cheese. I cannot I go wrong with the Parmesan cheese. <laughs> it's one of too. my favorites. I love Parm and I love feta. Feta cheese is also Actually, my favorite. Actually, who am I kidding? I love any kind of cheese. So usually what we do is we take to toss this to speed up the process. I'm gonna do it with the fork. I don't wanna spill everybody in there around me so we kind of and so we're going to really be careful folding that in so we keep those tortellinis intact exactly that's another concept there you got to make sure you I'm have not sure if everybody can see this but we're seeing that the parmesan that you added is already starting to melt in there so yeah, when you toss it, it you nice can kind of see melted. that it's starting to uh and, uh, and then we're going to do the final presentation which is going to be um right here and let me tell you something this is one of our favorite signature dishes well, I need to check this batch just to make sure quality control Go ahead. is intact. It might be hot. I'm not worried. About okay. It. <laughs> we have a good feedback, like good. I was saying. Uh, we also have a very, very uh, good, uh, extraordinary sauces that we do. Uh, we have over here, if you allow me to show you some of the, uh -huh. the things that I brought. What's this one? That is also buco. It's a beautiful shank. It's cooking the garden vegetables, not garden vegetables, okay. flavor vegetables, and it's uh, sitting in a bed of uh, fettuccine noodles. Okay. Also, we have the cepino. This is like everybody's favorite. It's a nice uh, beef stew, I mean beef stew, uh, seafood stew, and it's very, very, very tasty. Mm -hmm. um, this one is a mahi-mahi uh, pixiola. Ah. As you can tell, this one is lightly breaded. It makes sure that it contains all the juices in the fish. And it's very, very versatile too. You can do cream sauce, you can do um, some other things. Also, you can change the version of vegetables if you like to put it in there. It's very, very tasty. Also, we have the, the next one that I'm going to cook in the next segment. This is what we're going to go one. to. Okay, well, I think that's Fresh a perfect point. ending point, Chef. So, thank you so much. We also have the pizza. We have a very good uh, feedback in pizza. We have some customers from uh, New York that say that that's the best pizza they ever had since really? they New York. So, we're well, very that's proud. That's quite an endorsement. No we're very doubt. very proud of that. All right. Well, go ahead and prep everything. We'll get to this last recipe here in just a couple minutes. Um, it's going to be linguine with fre fresh clams. Fresh Say that clams. three times fast. Linguine with fresh clams.